Ancient Egypt, scientists reveal the secrets of the mummy of the golden boy 2300 years after its mummification. It seems that the mummy of the king, the young Tutankhamun, appeared to her as a rival mummy, after archaeologists uncovered the mummy of another teenage boy, who belonged to the upper class in ancient Egypt, and who underwent a process of embalming with a heart of gold 2300 years ago. Scientists had found the mummy of the boy, who was believed to have died, at the age of about 14 or 15 years, for the first time in 1916, but the mummy had been preserved in the stores of the Egyptian Museum in Cairo for more than a century, along with dozens of other mummies, without being subjected to close scrutiny by experts. The situation changed when a team led by Sahar Salim, professor of radiology at the Faculty of Medicine, Cairo University, decided to study the mummy using a digital tomography scan. The images revealed that the mummy of the deceased boy was adorned with 49 amulets with 21 different designs, many of which were made of gold. That's why scientists called the mummy the golden boy, Salim announced in an article published in Frontiers in Medicine. The new discovery of the mummy allows it to be displayed in the Egyptian Museum. A team of Egyptian researchers used a CT scan to examine a 2,300-year-old mummy. CT scanning of the mummy. The possibility of determining the boy's belonging to the upper class, as his teeth and bones were healthy, and there was no evidence of malnutrition or disease, and also because his remains underwent a high-quality embalming process, which included the extraction of the brain and internal organs. The picture showed the presence of an amulet, under the, linen, wraps that surrounded the boy's mummy, two fingers long next to his uncircumcised penis, as well as the presence of a golden tongue inside the mouth, and another heart scarab amulet, also made of gold, located inside the mummy's chest cavity. Sahar Salim said that the ancient Egyptians used to place amulets on the mummies of the dead with the aim of protecting them and giving them vitality in the afterlife. She explained that the golden tongue is inside the mouth to be able to speak in the other world. The pictures also showed that the boy's mummy was wearing sandals, with wreaths placed on the outer surface of the fern plant. The mummy, which is estimated to date back to the late Ptolemaic period, about 30 to 332 BC, was found in the city of Edfu, in southern Egypt, in 1916, that is, six years before an excavation expedition led by the British archaeologist. Scientists participating in the study believe that this discovery is the first in a series of discoveries expected in the future. Egypt witnessed large-scale excavations during the 19th and early 20th centuries, which resulted in the extraction of thousands of preserved ancient mummies, many of which are still preserved in their scrolls and inside their coffins, Salim said. She added, the Egyptian Museum in Cairo, since its opening in 1835, has been a repository for these treasures, and its basement is filled with many of these mummies, which have been closed for decades without being studied or displayed. She said that in the past, mummies were removed from wrappings and subjected to complete dissections for research purposes. She added that the use of tomography has become, these days, a great tool for studying remains without destroying them, which allows scientists to delve deeper into the health, beliefs and capabilities of humans in ancient times. She concluded, digital tomography is an important advance in radiology. Instead of using a single image, hundreds of imaging slices of the body can be combined to create a full 3D model, 